everybody! Welcome back to my channel! Hey guys, how are you guys doing? What's up? For today's video, I am gonna go thrift shopping! I have not been thrift shopping in a fat minute and I was watching back at my old vlogs and I was like, wait, why well, was thrifting so much fun? So, we're gonna go thrifting today. It's a Friday and I've been waiting all week to do this, you guys. I literally have a whole Pinterest board of all the type of outfits I wanna get. I even made a little Google Maps with all the places marked out to all the thrift stores I wanna go to. Before continuing on with today's video, I wanna thank Thrift Up for sponsoring today's video. How perfect is today's sponsor? If you don't know what Startup is, Startup is one of the largest resale platforms on the planet, inspiring the world to think secondhand first. Shopping with Startup is actually the smartest way to embrace your individual style, because number one, it reduces fashion footprint, and number two, it's so much easier than going thrifting in real life. And I'm gonna show you guys a haul of all the things I got at Startup because <laughs> I think this is the best thread up haul I've ever had, ever. If you guys like the type of finds I have, I favored a bunch on thread up, so it's easier for you guys to shop too. So, you know, check it out if you wanna. The link is in the description box below. If you use this code, you get 35% off and free shipping on your first order. So, there is literally no harm. Let me show you guys a little online thrift haul before continuing today's video because you guys will literally gag. You're probably wondering where I got this outfit from. It's a cheetah jean jacket. Look how perfect it is. It's from the brand Etiquette, and you're also probably wondering where are your pants from? Also from Thread Up. These are Brandy Melville John Galt pants, and thrifted with the tag still on. Super on trend, as you can tell. Like I'm looking loving cheetah these days. I cannot believe I found this. Next find. It's a chunky knit sweater, pink, perfect for the spring, and it is in such good quality. It's so thick. This is from J. Crew. Originally cost seventy to ninety dollars, and I found this for forty two ninety nine. And you will not guess what I found next. I'm shaking in my boots. Vintage Chanel shoes. Stop it right now. These range from over five hundred dollars. I swear. And I got these for one hundred fifty one dollars. I cannot. Next item I found. Perfect going out top. Oh, oh. Ah! This is a shirt from Alice and Olivia. Alice and Olivia tops go from like 90 and up. And I got this for $57.99. These are just some of the things I got. And there is so many good things I have thread up. So if you guys want to check it out, again, here's my code. 35% off and free shipping on your first order. Link is in my description box below. Go if you want. It's fine. Continuing on with the rest of my thrift vlog. We are going to have a fun day today. But first, I have to go to class. I actually have to leave like right now because it's 11. After class, we're going to go thrifting. And it's going to be a really, really fun time. And after... As always, I will be doing a little haul at the end, and I'm so excited. I really, really hope today's a good thrift day because you never know with thrifting. It could always be a terrible thrift find. You get nothing done after hours and hours of searching, or you hit jackpot. So I'm hoping today will be a jackpot day. I'm gonna go to class. I have accounting, and I am really just don't want to go to class, but, you know, like, I have to. I have a midterm next week, and I know she's gonna talk about it. I just know it, so... One thing about me is that I'll never skip math classes because if I miss one math class or one math associated class, I'm so behind. That's why I have to go today or else I will have no clue what we're doing today. So. Let's go. Hey, I'm back from class. I'm literally listening to Ariana Grande's new album right now and it, every song I swear is so good. But now I'm on the upper west side i believe and i'm like around the corner from my first thrift store it's like a vintage store so i'm pretty sure it's like not thrifty it's more vintage expensive stuff but apparently it's really cute and the owner of this place hand picks all of her stuff so i'm really excited there might be like a lot of unique pieces These are my selections. I picked out three things. Look okay, how cute this is. The fitting rooms. Look we'll at this find. Okay, let me try these on. I can't tell if I like it or not. I'm questioning if I like this or not. It's also $100. So. But it's made in Hong Kong. I don't know, that just like makes me more convinced to get it. But this is the next piece I'm gonna try wearing. This is cute as fuck. 
a little collared shirt moment. I love it. It's so cute. What do we think? What do we think? I can't tell if I like it or not. I think it's because of the price. This is the next piece. So cute, but it's small on me and I'm so sad. I love the little frail at the end here, but it's so small on me. Like I can't raise my hand without feeling like it's gonna rip. The first one I went to had a lot of cute things. Like I could tell it was very hand-picked, like curated. But number one, it was like kind of expensive and the quality was like kind of wearing down where I felt like if I put uh, down. Um, but yeah, I felt like if I put it in the wash, it would just like wear down right away. And it was like $40 and up, so I didn't think it was that worth it. I really liked that jacket though, it was so cute. But it was $100 and it was real like rabbit fur. And I kind of felt like weird wearing it. I was like, I feel like I'm wearing someone's pet on me. Um, like super weird. Anyways, now I'm going to my second one. And it's a more affordable place, so crossing my fingers. So sunny guys, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to Beacon's Closet and this thrift store is like a lot more affordable and I don't know, apparently it's bigger. A lot of people on TikTok were like, I love Beacon's Closet, especially the Williamsburg location, but I don't think I'm in Williamsburg, so. There's also a Brandy Melville like right next to it, but I'm gonna try not going because the whole point of this is to go thrifting, so. bigger and I'm gonna take my time to search through this place overwhelming because there's so many things here and there's so many people here sorry many people also sorry if the music is super loud it's jamming okay but I picked out five pieces I think this is my favorite thing I found there's so many pieces also this place is like kind of overpriced as but this is from Stout and like look at this shirt. I love this. I was literally about to buy a shirt like this $54 This shirt better be brand new like worn once type B This is the shirt and I really like it because of the shoulder pads. Is it worth $50? It's the question. Okay, this is like kind of really fun Like tell me this is not fun This is also like $50 I think which is like definitely very what do we think? What do we think? I kind of love this. This isn't my style, but it's cute. I'm at another thrift store. Hopefully this place is a little cheaper. I think it is. So let's see. It's also huge. Let's see if I could dig through this place. So right now I'm at a crossroads and their stuff is so much cheaper. And they have so many things. I picked out seven items. I could look more, but I'm kind of lazy. And I'm kind of okay with all my Selection, so let's try them on. So the first item is Pooh's Juicy Couture. I really like this color and it feels like it's in pretty good shape. $22, let's see. reminisce or something and I think this is gonna be my last thrift store because I am so tired only in my third store I did give in and go to brandy but I'll give you guys a haul 
sorry. Yeah, I'm super exhausted, but surprisingly, this place has some good stuff. I was not expecting it. I was like, okay, let me just see. But I feel like this place has such good finds. came home oh my god Ugh. it is 7 p.m and i started thrifting around 2 p.m and it's 7 p.m I, I was thrifting for five freaking hours you guys it didn't even feel like five hours to be honest and i only went to four stores and one of them wasn't even a thrift store okay i'm gonna do a haul when both my sisters are here so i could get their reactions as well but guys oh I think I did so well today. Such good finds. No, I actually went to four thrift stores today. I found one as I was going to the subway station and I bought one shirt. Two full bags of just thrifted clothes. Wait, I literally can't wait to show you guys. Some of these pieces are so cute. I even forgot what I got. So can't wait to see you guys soon. I'm gonna go eat dinner because I'm starving and I haven't eaten since 2 p.m. Yeah. It's the next day and my sisters are both here. So time to give a haul. Ugh. Let's see how good Erica's thrift haul is because she was out for like 12 hours last time. She went out at like 10 a.m. in the morning, came back at like 6 p.m. and with like 20 bags of thrifted clothes apparently. Yeah. And it's all of this, right? I guess it's not that much. Let me do Brandy Melville first because it's not thrifting. Really like give her like really animated responses. Like, oh my god. <laughs> The first thing I got, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> first thing I got from Brandy are these sweatpants that <gasps> are wide legs. <gasps> oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. This is so good. Yeah, so and it's good. low rise. If you bitches ever want to wear it, then oh you better my. cut this shit out right now. Oh my. Cut it out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's such a good okay. thing. Amazing. <laughs> Go and then this. Oh off my. The shoulder. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, Erica's outfit number one. She says she's done dressing. <laughs> so this is the first top I got. Isn't this so cute? Wait, is this a prank? No. And then recently, capris are trending right now. And I found these. Okay, imagine. I'm imagining. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine anything. Okay. This was, these pants were $16.50. And this one was... <laughs> okay, guys, you guys just have to imagine Put yourself in my shoes, all right? <laughs> Nothing's coming. And how cute is this? Okay, thank you. Next outfit. Is this a prank? No, I'm being dead ass right now. Oh my god. Guys, Erica dyed her hair red and now she thinks she's like a trendsetter or something. This is the next item. Juicy couture. And touch it. It is in such good condition. Okay, well, this one's cute. <laughs> Sorry. I just couldn't see anything. Better. Okay. 
Check the price. Yo mama. Yo mama so fat. $22.50. Oh, $22.50. Also, thrifting in New York City is so overrated because it's actually really freaking overpriced. There's obviously cheaper ones, but stop fucking me fucking me up, bro. I'm gonna be stealing that. No, you that won't be. No, you won't be. No, you won't be. Okay. Wait, wait till my other finds. Okay, and then you'll regret reacting like that in the beginning. Well, the, the Ireland just wasn't our style. <laughs> yeah, the Ireland. Oh, yeah. With the capri. Yeah. When, just, when I style these capri pants, you won't be laughing I said anymore. the pants were bad. I said the top was just... The top is not bad either, so... The Ireland top was a little questionable. Watch what you say. Next outfit. It's Thank just not you. my type. Some people can rock it. Yeah. And if Erica likes it, then that's good for her. Yeah, good for you, Erica. Good for you. Thank you. Erica's third outfit. Next one. Don't imagine it with these pants. This short cropped blazer, shoulder padded, guess where it's from? Polo Ralph Lauren. Stour, Star, or whatever. Oh, for $54.95. Yes. See, this one was Beacon's Closet. Beacon's Closet was expensive as fuck. And I think Stodd is like kind of expensive though, so. Yeah, this suggested retail is $250. I don't know, I thought it was cute, and this was like the one of the first stores I went to, and look at the shoulder padded. Evelyn's like, I'm gonna steal this later. No, you won't, bitch. No. I mean, I guess- definitely similar, so. She couldn't find a way to style that. It's not- no, Even it's with not this. That. No. Mm. Okay, next. Um, I'm gonna try my best to not make any facial expressions, because every time she walks out, I'm just gonna go, ooh, that's different. But I, she's gonna hit me, so I'd be like, mm. <laughs> well, it's pretty. You have to like, pretend you're actually seeing like a really pretty outfit. Like, oh, wait, that's really cute. Wait, oh, yours looks fake. Wait. Oh. But ciao. This one's the best one yet. I like, I like this top, actually. This top I got, and I think it was like really inexpensive. Ooh. 1850. Oh, I actually like it. Oh, Wait, I, I feel like you, get, you can get a top like this freshly, freshly. But not I think used it was for from like a good store too. Where? Feel the piece. <laughs> I don't even. Just know. kidding. And on top of that, I went to this random thrift store. Look what I found. Maybe, obviously not with this fit, you guys. Imagine me with the black skirt, cute going out outfit, little. Oh my god, it's so Touch cute. It. I love it. Touch it. I love this. Oh, it's really soft. So. I love it. It's really cute. Okay, wear it. You know what I. <laughs> <laughs> wear it. Wear you know it. what I. Embrace it. Wear it and embrace it. Right? Sit back and relax if you love it. Okay? Just this is from Banana Republic, and this was in the same store, so I was shook. That's way better. This. I have well, no this idea is just what for, this is. This is just trend following. A little like, oh, brunch moment. This is like nighttime, like going out to ski. <laughs> I have more coming. Guys, if you can work. tell, Erica's in her fashion era. Um, yeah. So, please support it. Whatever happened to your running era? Yeah, what happened to your running era? It's still going, don't you worry. <laughs> Next. I thought like thrifting was supposed to be like twelve dollars. Yeah, like, like five dollars. Yeah, like what the hell? This oh, is a little cutesy moment. A different aesthetic of mine. A little sweater. I don't. I have no idea where it's from, but look how unique this collar that's is. That's cute. I I would give this that. And I'm so dainty. <laughs> I think that's kind how of more that? my style. It's not your style. I don't it like is. it. Okay, style. next. So I'm not a big fan, but sure. There's What's the point of buying all this if it's gonna be full? Like so expensive. Cause of me. You can buy all this not used for. I'm being that. sustainable. Um, you should recycle yourself. I personally, Erica, you should have done some like negotiating. Like you should have been like. No, I did ask. I was like, do you guys? This was the same place from the this and store, oh. and I was like. Do you guys have student discount or any type of discount? Because I was buying literally so much from this store. But he said no. So. If you okay, go next. Okay, next. Okay. Outfit number, what I, what is it? I wouldn't wear this together, but first oh, I got this. Ooh, that's so cute. Let me explain it. I got this silver crinkle shirt affecting whatever. And it's really cool. Like it stretches all the way like this. What the hell? But then 
you could scrunch it as much as you want. This was $19.99. This is the last thrift store oh. I went to. And then I got this little blazer thing. This was $24, kind of on the pricier side, but a little cute cover up, especially in the springtime. And it has structured shoulders. Really cute, really fancy too. It's velvet. So a good way to elevate your look. That is so great. Good well, job. That was good. No, there's more. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Okay, go. Go, go. Bye. Tell me why. I was literally looking for a tank top in everyone's closet, and this tank top that's mine is in there. Whatever, Anyways, it's just a tank top. I got this green silk top. I think this is so cute. Also, so my color. Suck on this finger, bitch. Um, why would I suck on that finger? Guys, forty dollars. Oh yeah, this one was kind of expensive. To my intimacy. Intimacy. This was also the first thrift store I went to begins closet. Like I said, it's expensive as fuck, but this seems to be in good quality, so I was like, whatever. And I thought I wouldn't have luck that day, so I was like, I, I have to buy something. But I really like it. I also got this belt, but I just realized that it doesn't have enough holes. You have to it's like way it. too, yeah, it's just way too long. So now I just have a really long belt. And this was $20, so. And that's it for my haul. But, oh, thank God. I was like, woo! Outfit. That was really cute. I can smell my wing stuff, so <laughs> I'll see you guys later. And yeah, this was my thing. I think I spent around $200 on thrifting today, oh. and it was really lit. Let me know if you guys want me to do more thrifting videos because obviously I'm getting way better at thrifting as the year goes by. Either it's online thrifting, thrifting in person. Also another thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. And remember, you guys could get 30% off with my code and free shipping on your first purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.